Let me get all of my notes together here. Thanks, Mr. Copper, for volunteering today for this survey. No problem. Glad I could help out. The psychology department at Stanford University is doing an in-depth study on happiness. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the happiest, what number would you give yourself? Well, I say a 10. No doubt about it. He he. That's great Mr. Copper. Most people of your age aren't lucky enough to feel that way. Young man, I have it pretty good. Can't complain. What do you attribute your happiness to? Number one, good clean living, and three solid meals a day, and water, lots and lots of water. Have you always lived around here? Near the cemetery? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I have always stayed in shape. Lots and lots of exercise. I walk two miles a day around the cemetery. That cemetery over there, I have walked around the perimeter of that cemetery for, for over 40 years now. My, oh my. Time flies by when you are having so much fun. Anyway, I am happy. Let a good life, kid. You can write that down in your notes. He <laughs> he. Mr. Copper, you make me laugh. Have I got this down correctly, Mr. Copper? You retired a few years ago after working at the same job for over 42 years. Yeah, that's right. All those years at the same place. Yup. Good years. Happy years. I loved my job. It says here, let's see, for 42 years you were a cranberry taster. How did you do it? It wasn't tough at all, kid. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't worry, kid. Considering all those years, I am none the worse for wear and to hair. Just a few stains that don't wash out, don't you see? Kid, I really, really love cranberries. He he he.